So Colin, tell me, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Good. I'm a mother of six boys. Colin is a twin. He actually has a twin brother. I wasn't thinking cancer. But I, like, I knew something was like wrong. Colin, he's normally like very um, independent and um, playful, active. But that night, he kind of was a little bit fussy, um, miserable maybe, if that's the word. And then um, I had noticed he had uh, lumps in the back of his ear that evening. Colin was first diagnosed with B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia in February 2021. And he initially presented pretty sick. He came to our emergency room and he had a couple of days, a couple of weeks actually, of just feeling really tired and actually had bilateral leg pains. Healthy children can get sick. And I think that is the biggest challenges for, for families because they've never had an emergency room visit, they've never been hospitalized before, and then all of a sudden you tell them that their child has cancer, that will definitely turn the world upside down. From the first night we um, got admitted to the Wilcox unit, the nurses um, and Dr. Lim did such a great job at reassuring us that you know everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get caught in the help that he needs, and um, once more information comes, you know we'll we'll kind of tackle it along as it as it goes. So Colin has a very rare blood disorder, but it is also one of the most common childhood cancers. His therapy is long and it's intense, so it entails about four to five months or so of intensive chemotherapy, which means that family needs to come into the hospital at least once or twice to the clinic, if not stay weeks on end in the hospital. So really, the whole therapy is pretty long and can take at least one and a half, if not two and a half years or so. I think that um, it gets difficult for me to see, to watch Colin have to go through this. Um, constant doctor's appointments, um, labs, chemo, going to do spinal taps and, you know, watch him because he was diagnosed at four, right? So such a small body going through all of this. <laughs> I would like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all those donors who continuously contribute to Kapiolani and you know, cancer care. I see Colin with a bright future, living life and enjoying it. Thanks to the doctors here at Kapiolani.